Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another installment of how I edit my YouTube videos. This one I wanted to show you how I add text on the screen, which is called a caption. Like let's say I'm editing and something happens and I want to make you guys aware of the reason behind it. I will type text on the screen. A lot of people do it that do videos. And I was editing a video last night and came across it where I need to do it. So I was like, this is perfect. So you're watching your video. You're watching your video. And here, we're going to watch part of this because the spot's right there. And then I was like, you know what? I have this piece. Okay, in this part of the video, I am talking a lot lower than I was in the other part because my husband came home and he is sleeping, but I still wanted to get the rest of this video shot. So I want to put on the screen, I am talking so low because my husband is sleeping. So all you need to do, wherever you want the text to pop up, you need to pause your video. If you can see in the bottom right corner where my cursor is moving, that black line is where you're at in your video as far as watching it back. Now, I want the text to be on that slide, on that screenshot. So all I do... This is where you watch the video back, actually. If you go here up to caption, see where my cursor is? And see where it says, yeah, add text that displays over the selected video or photo. If I click on that, that add this, this box pops up. Enter text here. You can make it any color that you want by going up here, see where it says, oh, first I have to type it. Okay, I'm going to type, I am talking so soft because my husband is sleeping. and a couple exclamation points. Now, you can leave the text like that. The default is they make the text white. I actually don't mind the white because you can see it, but I am going to select the text just like you would select something if you're in a Word document. And I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna bold it. See how you can do bold? Which makes it a little bit more out there. You can also, if you look up here where my cursor is, you can make the text left justification, right justification, or center. I'm going to leave it in the center. Now, you can edit, okay, the color of the text is right here. If you go two over bold, italic, and then this, see text color, change the text color. If you click on that, you can change the text color to any color you want. I, however, I'm going to leave it white. So if I just click out of that, that's what it's going to look like on the screen to you guys. And the default, if you look up here, text duration, the default is seven seconds. That means it's going to appear on the screen for seven seconds. You can change that to whatever you want. You can click on it and type any number, or you can click on this drop-down menu right here. And then over here, you can choose how the text oh. goes away from your screen. It can fade. Oh. It can stretch. Oh. It can, oh, that's how it comes onto the screen, I say. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, if you're looking, oh, wait a minute. Third, It'll show you each one. Oh, oh, third, I usually just leave it oh, 
at the um, the normal one, the one that's the default. And I realized that sound that when it said the beginning of my voice, that didn't sound so great. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's continue to play the video and you'll see how long it's up there. Of 32 count opalescent Belfast from XJU Designs because I bought some of her sample fabrics. Okay, you see how it disappeared. So that's how I do the captions in Windows Movie Maker when I want to add text on the screen. Oh, I also forgot to say, if I go back to it, you can go back to it by clicking on it down here. See that little box in the right hand, bottom right? If you click on it, it's going to bring your cursor back to that slide and it's going to bring the text back onto the screen. You can also move this anywhere you want on this slide. If I click on it, see how it gives me that, if you put your cursor like that, if you just move your cursor around, it's going to give you, but once it's like that, you can drag it anywhere you want on the screen. I can put it anywhere. I'm going to leave it down there where it was, but sometimes I do move it. I will move it to other parts of the screen. So I meant to say that also. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.